This conference you, will now be recorded. How you will delete the setup tape? I have CR02. This is my work center, WJ001. Okay, where it is? Uh, when you write here machine labor, when yeah. you create the work center, there is one more tab. It says uh, setup. So how you uh, how you delete? If you go my work center, my work center is uh, uh, let me yeah W is right here W J S yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The setup. Yeah. Three individually cannot delete. These three are coming from the standard value key. Yes. You have a standard value key SAP one. Right. Okay. Uh, give me a minute. Hello. Yeah, I'm yeah, here. Jamal. Okay, okay. So these three are coming from the standard value key. Okay. Right. You right. enter the standard value key SAP zero SAP one. Okay. Right. So uh -huh. we have created ZSA one, which is having only two mission and labor. If you select this ZSA one mm -hmm. and press enter, mm -hmm. you will get that uh, those two. Uh, so how I will get the this two, but when you create the standard key, I think you copy it from uh, a standard and then you delete over there. Correct. Correct. Okay. Can you give me one? Can you show me one time, please? Last time you yeah. show, but it was. Uh, okay. Go to the SPRO mm -hmm. and go to the production here. Okay. Production and then basic data mm -hmm. and then work center mm -hmm. and then go to general data. Mm -hmm. Here you can see standard value. Yeah. Define standard value key. Okay. Okay. Open this. And here, for example, I want to copy this normal. Okay. Okay. Select it mm -hmm. and click on copy. Mm -hmm. And here you can put JDS next one. Mm -hmm. You want only set up one mission. Oh, yeah. You don't want labor. You can delete this. Okay. How 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 you delete this? Because you select it and empty row is there. You select the empty row. The last empty is there. You select that empty. I see last empty. Okay, okay. I see. So this will empty. come automatically in the okay. Correct. And now you can click OK, apply, and uh -huh. save it. Okay. JSA two we created. Okay, so the setup key is not uh, mandatory or not important. It is very important because based on this one only, we are calculating our routing, uh, mission hours, capacity, everything we are entering. Yeah, but uh, but there are three tabs. So one is machine, one is labor, one yeah. is set. So okay. why we why we uh, take the setup out? That's my point. Co question is. I don't know. For example, I have shown you. If you want business want a setup also, then you will put the setup also. 
and what the setup can do in this uh, machine work go, go take the machine data our main hour and labor work can take the machine uh, labor uh, hour and what the setup can do I mean setup of this both machine and labor or setup is something else setup means before starting a production you may require some time maybe for a cleaning mm. maybe for arranging your raw materials okay that is called the setup time for example you want to cook your food today lunch you want to prepare lunch for today now so you want lunch preparation starting is one o'clock means will you start by one o'clock mm -hmm. no before that you need to bring all your utensils mm -hmm. you need to bring all the items which are required for cooking right okay all those you will arrange them then at one o'clock you will uh, uh, switch on the microwave or stove gas stove mm -hmm. okay and then you will start cooking but before that you prepared you did some preparation that preparation is called setup okay so yeah. in the setup also it's go with the uh, hours and whatever yeah right yeah here okay. setup we will put as a time in time how much uh, setup you require mm -hmm. okay setup required okay time of time for the setup correct mission yes. means running of that mission labor oh. means your complete labor into their man hours okay okay standard right okay this is the one questions that i have and the second questions that i have yeah uh, show in casting tab uh, Okay, the second last time you remember we talk about MM01 and uh, in MRP uh, one minute Nicholas hi Nicholas No, the audio is not it. Okay. Yeah, please. let me let me call him because... No, no, he's joining actually he joined in another call. Okay. Okay. Yeah, tell me and in uh, mm01 in mm01 and uh, mm. when you go in um, in accounting mm. then then the month shows uh, month uh, 2019 uh, mg november 2019 december 2019 Correct. last time you uh, uh, explained to us but again when i yeah. the material today yeah. hi jamal hi jamal I am here. Yeah, hi, sorry. Hi, Nicholas. Hey, hi, hi, so, hi. I am Nicholas. Sorry, I was. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, Murli told that. Uh, so both of you, tomorrow onwards, we you have received a new uh, go to meeting ID. You need to join into that go to meeting ID. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah, tomorrow mm -hmm. onwards we will join into new go to ID, go to meeting ID. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I yeah, think he sent, uh, uh, yesterday he sent the new one. Maybe five yeah, minutes be before only send it all. Yeah, yesterday he sent. Yeah. I think the new one. Yeah, you have to drop down and uh, and select the SAP HANA or SAP PP or whatever is you have a choices there. Okay, that is for maybe system. All right. Okay. Okay. We. So, uh, practice today together and uh, Nicholas and um, I have the same question that when you create the MM01 must okay. that uh, we create this material can you click this one please can I go to the change mode yes you already created so I'm going to the change mode right okay MRP could be yeah this this the the the, the period four nine and period three nine it's hmm. showing this uh, uh, just put the highlight on it what is it showing in this one the costing cost of this product in current period and previous periods this cost actually the client they will run the costing every month hmm. okay that time what is your previous cost 
and what is if you run the casting run for next month it will show you in future casting run what is the cost i see so the present and uh, present wow. future pre uh, previous present and uh, and future right correct i see <clears throat> okay so, so this is actually the costing people they will run the costing and mm -hmm. it will show that data we are not entering i see this, this, this is the generate uh, system, right? Yeah, correct. Okay. If we are in uh, month of uh, May, then uh -huh. previous period will show 004 and present period will show 005. I see. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's what we have on here. Okay. Uh, mm, uh, okay. Nicholas, do we have any questions? Uh, no, 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 it's okay. Perfect. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So yeah. you can start the class now. That's okay. So, Jamal, can you tell me what are the steps we did till now in make to stock scenario? what steps we did yeah um first we did yeah my forecast i'm sorry what is your question yeah my question is in make to stock scenario uh -huh. what are the steps we completed till now um we uh, yeah, did, until uh, now we confirm only yeah. we, 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 we did the before that we did the info record then forecast and after yeah. phone forecast we did the um, MRP run uh, stock the stock requirement list then MRP run okay then and after uh, MRP uh, then uh, we start the uh, uh, I'm sorry Planet order and production order uh, and uh, release a production plan, order. Plan order will convert to uh, production order. Order. Okay. okay. Then release. And then yes. uh, yeah yeah then release and yes. And confirm. Okay. And what are the two types of confirmation? Uh, sorry what are the types of confirmations two types yeah, uh, yeah i remember just so i think uh, okay. For one of them text the one, other no, one uh, individual con uh, conversion and collective confirmation conversion right confirmation confirmation operation wise operation wise confirmation and another one is order wise confirmation okay so if i ask you the steps in the make to stock means you should be able to explain this forecast mrp run planned order planned order to production order conversion release production confirmation and finally is the goods it's movement goods moment yeah okay can i ask a question uh, can i ask a question yeah. uh, here yes, yes. Uh, uh, i you know i, I just a uh, little bit uh, not the clear 100% when we confirm we hmm. confirm, for example, when we said confirm five, uh, I see the good movement next, but uh, uh, you, you confirm you will manufacture five. And when you do the good movement, you start to do the good movement from the uh, warehouse to the production center. Is that right or not? Uh, Sorry, or, can you repeat not? your question again? Yeah, I'm talking about the good, good movement, just to be accurate in the good movement. Uh, mm. Just to ask you, a production confirmation, that, mm. now, that means now I have a confirmation to produce five. Mm. Is that mm. right? And when Correct. I do the good movement, when I do the mm. good movement, now I start to do the, uh, what, what, you know, the, the movement 
to good to issue the product from the warehouse to the production center. Is that right correct. or not? Correct. Correct. Say so, yeah. okay. okay. That does mean now I didn't I didn't do the one oh one receive the product shipping yet. Is that correct. right or not? Next correct. step will be the re receive the uh, uh, exactly. good good receive. Okay. Correct. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. okay. Thanks. So, okay, thanks. confirmation, production confirmation means physically product is assembled. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, we are moving that product into warehouse. We are moving that product into warehouse. That yeah. is called the goods receipt. Okay. okay. Now, moving. we are, today we will discuss on the goods movements. Moving the product to? Yeah, to warehouse. Warehouse. Or you can say storage location. Okay. Uh, so here we have first we have consumed your raw material. You have consumed like raw material like tire. I have used and I have assembled in car. Right. Okay. That mm -hmm. is called the goods issue. Consumption. Goods issue means consumption of your raw materials okay goods issue is called uh, goods issue called the consumption right yeah consumption of your raw materials consumption of raw material okay and this generally they will do by mmt they will issue the material consumption or issue the material okay to production this generally will be done by mm people Okay. Is it correct, Nicholas? Yeah, but now as soon as you release the order and you make confirm, yes, absolutely. Now you issue the product from the warehouse to the production center. Is that right? Is this what you need? Where, where you will yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, okay. From warehouse mm -hmm. to production center, you will move. Okay. 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 Now, when you when the product go to the warehouse, uh, you say it's called the goods movement, right? Yeah, and from now, the from the from the warehouse, it will go out of the uh, warehouse. Then you call the goods issue. Yeah, again, that is called the goods issue of mm -hmm. your FG to customer. Okay, you are giving is issue. Okay, you are taking is goods receipt. Yeah. Okay, this is one part, and the another part is you will do the goods receipt also. Goods receipt means okay, uh, keeping you can say FG product FG in warehouse. Okay, I'm sorry, keep, keeping keeping FG what? Oh, yeah, F finished good in warehouse. Warehouse means your storage location. Uh, goods in warehouse. This I cannot yeah. understand. Yeah, you have produced now car. Okay, in production uh -huh. line, you have mm. produced it. Painting and everything is ready. So then, what you will do? You will keep it in a warehouse. Warehouse, right. or it is called the go down warehouse store yes. location. You need to keep that. Okay, right. that that is called the goods receipt. Well, you, uh, the goods moment, you did it uh, from a warehouse, I'm sorry, from the manufacturing area mm. to, the, to the warehouse. That's called goods issue. Yeah. yeah, that is called goods receipt. Your production line to warehouse is called the goods receipt. Production line to warehouse is called good receipt. Correct. Okay, let me write down production. Production to warehouse called receipt. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is 
is it clear yeah okay so this goods issue our goods receipt the differentiation we will do from the moment type right okay goods issue means moment type is 261 goods receipt means moment type is 101 goods issue okay okay and in olden days maybe in ecc you have a different transaction codes for these goods issue goods receipt like mb1a mb1b mb1c mm -hmm. all mb starting with mb transactions are there in ecc for all individual goods movements wise but mm -hmm. in s4 they have removed all these transaction codes and they keep only one transaction code that is miko okay in s4 uh, we have only one transaction miko for all types of goods movements okay okay repeat one more time because olden days i remember that mb1 mb they all uh, has a yeah. transaction codes and that yeah. was in the old uh, old version right yeah correct okay in then in ecc then what happened after that in s4 now we are working on s4 hana in hana okay. we can use migo only migo okay, you don't okay. have mb mb one year transactions okay in hana and mm -hmm. uh, uh you we can use migo in hana but in hana you cannot use mb one a or mb one two correct i see okay now i will show you the goods issue and goods receipt okay before goods issue actually goods issue means your entire stock should be there but we have not done any goods movements for the tire i am going to the md04 honda tire So no, I'm sorry. For Honda, say, say one more time. The, the earlier you say something about the tire. Yeah, tire is a raw material. We right. don't have stock for this tire. Yeah, because okay. we buy this tire from the yeah. third. Correct. So how to buy is the this is actually the MM part, but mm -hmm. I will show you how to do this one also. Buying, okay. So, for example, after MRP system generated purchase requisition with this quantity, okay? This purchase requisition, this MM people, they will convert this into purchase order. Okay. Okay. How to convert is, you can click on the details and here you click on purchase order. Okay, just one second, please. okay okay click on that so here in the right side document over you mm -hmm. this is a purchase requisition mm -hmm. drag and uh, select that purchase requisition and click on adopt button okay If you give me a one second, I will take the screenshot. One minute. Yeah. Before that, I am going back because mm -hmm. it did not copy the vendor actually. Let me correct this. Hmm. Vendor is A hundred actually. Now, this screen is the same screen that uh, you did it before, right? 
no no this is different i will come back one second wait okay okay now i am doing purchase requisition mm -hmm. purchase order mm -hmm. okay what's this okay now this is the previous i shown you the screen mm -hmm. you select this mm -hmm. and click on adapt yeah so in the right side you will get all the details material your vendor purchase organization and everything okay okay uh -huh. so then you can directly save it i see click on save okay 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 it's got saved uh -huh. so you got you can see standard po created the number is 4 Zeros to sixty one. Okay, just one second. Okay. 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 And you can click on refresh button. Mm -hmm. So then your purchase order will come here. Yeah, it's from. Uh... From PRD to change to PO item. Yeah, correct. Not PRD, PURREQ, purchase requisition. Uh, yeah, but you did it uh, this one, right? PO item. Yeah, PO item. It become as PO item yes. after conversion. Uh -huh. Now, next is, for example, uh, for this, uh, now purchase order you have given to the vendor. Now, vendor is. What, yeah. what you say? After the conversion, what what will become? What you say yeah. about purchase order? Uh, it will become as purchase order. P U R. Okay, become P O. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, P O item. It will become item. Okay. Item yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Okay. So now, f now you. Converted this into PO, you are given to the vendor. Vendor will supply that material to you. Okay. So when you when he supply the material to you, you need to do the goods receipt for that material. Raw material. So so so, so hold on one second, please. You say the PO is ready. Yeah. And and PO uh, will you can give the PO to the vendor, right? Correct. And the uh, vendor will uh, um, supply the material correct okay when okay. he supply in uh -huh. sap okay so, i will write down the steps here in sap then you, process okay then you yeah then you issue the purchase requisition and then convert to purchase order okay after this you need to do the goods receipt after the purchase order then you give the uh, hold on one second okay purchase order will uh, you can give it to the vendor correct and that the vendor will supply the material correct and then after that what yeah after that you need to do the goods receipt against that purchase order in SAP. Goods receipt, I see. Okay. Bigo. Yeah, exactly. So this D04 and this is MD04 and goods receipt all moments is in MIGO only. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now in SAP, for example, you want to enter the old transaction code MB1A, okay, mm -hmm. R1C. Mm -hmm. So it yeah, will say, you can see, transaction MB1C is absolute, okay, mm -hmm. because we are using S4 HANA system. Okay. Okay. So now I am opening the MIGO transaction code. Mm -hmm. goods receipt you can select here option goods receipt mm -hmm. and here you need to select for a different purpose different types you need to select 
we are doing goods received against purchase order purchase order yeah okay you mm -hmm. select that option and enter your purchase order number this is our 261 is our purchase order mm -hmm. and click execute button i see okay yes, so in the bottom you will get honda plant quantity all the details you will get from the purchase order okay yeah okay here you enter storage location enter storage location and in the bottom tick mark item okay okay just one second okay uh, but now the uh, if you go a little up the screen is uh, uh, yeah. purchase okay. order yeah hmm. the no the previous screen the previous screen uh, no where is the where you put the purchase order number and, oh, that one. Uh, yeah here yeah but, but now when you put the goods received and uh, purchase order here mm. the purchase order number is uh, is gone yeah when you press enter uh -huh. it will go out and that purchase order will number will display on the top display on the top i see yeah. okay Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. And then you save it, right? Yes, yeah, save it or post. We can do both. So in the bottom, you can see document is posted. Okay. Now yeah. stock is there. You can check in MD04 also. Earlier, the stock is zero. Okay earlier the stock of tire is zero now i am just refreshing it so now you can see we got the stock now okay uh, the tire stock is zero no now we did the gr no yeah now but we came stock 1850 yeah stock stock available is a quantity 1.8 it is 1000 not 1 1.8 no but you say earlier the stock is zero yeah to refresh this screen before refresh this screen it is zero mm -hmm. now we did gr and everything so in means that there is no tire in the stock right before gr there is no stock just okay. now we did gr okay okay we did gr now okay so stock is increased to 1850 1. okay hmm. i see okay yeah if you want you can check this stock in mmbe also this is mmbe transaction code mm -hmm. enter material plant mm -hmm. and execute uh -huh. you can see the stock 1850 okay okay uh -huh. 
so whatever i explain now is mm process yeah mm team they will do okay yeah yeah when you check the stock it was a mb what was the transition transition code mm mm i'm sorry mm stock overview yeah what was M just i type here you can see stock overview because yeah. the the voice is uh, actually is a little echo sometimes uh, stock overview okay transition code is mm mmb yeah okay 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 yeah. but when so we now, start the work we did not maintain the starts so when we start the work means when when but when you start the work i want you can see how much is the stock we have mm. oh i'm sorry okay. i'm i'm uh, i'm little confused because uh, 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 how to check the stocks do we have before a tire in the stocks or uh, what kind of materials do we have in the stocks or upload the stocks or something like that no during a new project you are asking or during our training now uh, now this time this time the stocks has come after doing this process for purchased materials so a stock will be uploaded right not uploaded if you do the goods receipt so stock has come okay you are received from the vendor oh okay 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 goods receipt means you received from the vendor received from the vendor received okay okay received from from the vendor okay okay all right okay, okay. go ahead so, yeah you are received from the vendor so the stock is appearing now okay okay now so i am coming back to our class goods moments so first is this tires is there we need to issue the tire to production production order okay so goods issue we will use the transaction same migo only yeah now you are trying to give this uh, tire to the production to put it in the car correct okay okay so that step is goods issue hmm. and i am opening the same migo transaction again before that let me check yesterday's production order honda car so yesterday we are using the production order this one okay 162 okay so i am opening now migo transaction code to do the goods issue okay mm -hmm. so we are uh, once you open this one you select this is as a goods issue okay mm -hmm. goods issue and then here you can select against order production order you can select or if you know the reservation number you can select reservation number okay mm -hmm. you select order and then enter here order number and then execute okay so executed actually in our production order we have the two materials okay So, I'm sorry. Yeah. No engine. I remember that it's an engine. No, the engine is not part of the production order. Sorry. Yeah, engine. The engine is it? The engine is your, not part from the production order or not? Your voice is not clear. 
Yeah, I'm repeating. The engine, yeah. engine uh, is it par? Uh, the, uh, I don't remember. Is it par from the production order or not? No, we are not put that engine. Uh, engine. We are not created engine uh, uh, material code. In a BMO. B O M. B O M. Okay. 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 No, no, no problem. Oh, okay. In Correct. a BOM only we have two material. One is tire Correct. and one is the 166 or something like this. Yeah. Correct. That 166. Mm -hmm. So okay, okay. let me check. We have the stock for 166. I'm going to MMBE transaction code. 166. Execute. Because this is we are not created. Okay. Somebody has created this. So, okay, I'll do one thing. Let me do for this 166 also. So, this is also having some PO, but this PO is very less. Okay, I will change this PO quantity. I am doing the MIGO for this uh, raw material also. Copy. I did for 166 material also. So the stock is 500 now. It is fine. Okay. Now I am going to the our production order goods issue. Okay. So here, once you enter your production order, the what are the items in the production order, it will display here. Okay. Here, if you want to change the quantity, you can change. That means out of 50 you are now issuing only 40 you can put that 40 quantity also okay and then you enter storage location from which storage location you are issuing the goods receipt goods issue this tire so you can see the goods movement type automatically will come 261 and this stock we have in 3001 you enter the stock for this one and we have two materials here now at present we enter the details for first item only honda tire you want to enter the details for second item click on second line okay and here it will display the details for second item and this you want to change quantity you can change our storage location you enter the storage location jamal is it clear yeah it is clear okay. but it's a uh, it's a uh, we have to understand from a goods issue then after goods uh, received and then after you know uh, stock overview and mmb or all this stuff Correct. then how you do this these, these are the steps that we have to understand correct you need to practice if you right. practice only you will remember otherwise you will forget everything right okay. yeah. Vasu, how long how since how long you are working in this uh, in this module sap yeah sap 11 years <laughs> now <laughs> that's why you remember each and everything and then you are doing this okay 11 <laughs> years is a, is a big uh, so many years you know you are you probably remember each and everything in the bb yeah my daily life is this one only. 
<laughs> yeah, you you don't need the SAP in front of this. You just you just explain, do this, do this. You don't need a, a SAP, uh, you know, software in front of you. Correct. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, so, Nicholas. Uh, Nicholas is. Uh, I mean, uh, Nicholas, are you understand this process? Yeah, he already. Uh, he's already working. <laughs> he's already. Yeah. yeah, he knows in MM. This is part of MM actually. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He knows. Right. So that is the reason. If you both practice it, you yeah. will understand. That. Okay. Yes, we did today. We start actually practice together today, and we mm -hmm. did. We okay. did. Uh, yes. Okay. That's cool. why uh, we need uh, uh, the other help that we uh, we saw yesterday. Uh, about the screen charts that you can give it to us at least it will help us to practice it you know? yeah. because when you are working on a uh, screen charts and when Ooh. you put the uh, transaction code and click and click and click and click now uh, now i cannot take all the you know screen charts uh, step by step some of them are missing because we have to pay attention to and listen to you know yeah okay so in this way if you have a screen charts then the step by step that will help us to do the practice you know so okay i will uh, appreciate if you can if you can give it to us that we can uh, we can do in everyday practice okay i will i will check on that you know that okay yeah Okay. Okay. So now, once we enter the store location details, you can click on save button. Save button. Okay. You need to put OK button, flag. Yeah. And save it. Save it. And what? What industry are you working with? At present, I am working for the automotive. Automotive, yeah. Automotive you have a lot of, I think uh, you have a lot of work over there. Yeah. I see. Okay. 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 Now you can see material document is posted. Yes. Okay. So this is goods issue. We did yeah. the goods issue. That means tires we have issued to a production line. Right. Okay. Now, yesterday we completed the production, means production confirmation is over. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Sometimes some clients, they will do first goods issue. Mm -hmm. First, they will issue the tires to the production line and mm -hmm. then production team will start the production. They will do the confirmation here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then finally, they will do the goods receipt. I see. Okay. So this goods issue is before some clients before starting of confirmation. Sometimes they will do after a confirmation. They will do that. I see. Okay. That depends on the business. Right. Yeah. Now, now one more question uh, that I have. Now yeah. since we are working with uh, uh, working with uh, uh, a stock, we, you know, mm -hmm. can you go? Uh, can you go up there all the way up yeah. to the first uh, screenshot? I mean, not the, yeah, no, the Excel sheet. Uh, yeah, here. Now we are working make to stock, right? Correct, correct. And, and make to stock and make to order. When you work mm. with uh, discrete manufacturing or uh, process mm. manufacturing, so we have to go all these steps as you are doing with the make to stop and make to order. Correct. Okay. So the only difference will come here. In make to stock, you will have forecast. In make to order, you will have sales order. Sales order. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So, but our MRP and this process is same, common. Yeah, it won't change. Okay. So it means uh, if we work with uh, all the production process, mm -hmm. discrete and process and repetitive, these are Correct. all the same. 
everything and uh, uh, repetitive the things everything right yeah repetitive is different but the process or discrete manufacturing is same mm -hmm. we will see what is the differences okay yeah so but if you understood this process like forecast mrp planned order production order this uh -huh. is the main process starting and ending okay yeah so in different kind of industries mm -hmm. how this will change you we, we will compare that yeah but my point is uh, from mid to uh, stock all mm. this uh, mrp run plan order and production good receive issue and these are all things similar that you yes, can work on, uh, on on this and also Correct. you can and work on a uh, process repeated everything is at only you need all this uh, this practices right correct correct yeah. repetitive right. is little different uh -huh. but process and this one is same okay so that we will discuss later what yeah. is the difference well uh, uh, only the, the the reason i ask about because uh, I, you should know about the business concept first uh, what is correct the requirement you know correct yeah okay. so now now we will do the goods receipt for our production order okay so this is also we will use the same transaction miko and we will use the production order only okay okay before gr i we will check what is the stock present for this honda car okay i put the material code and plant and execute you can see there is no stock now okay there is no stock now we will do the migo yesterday we confirmed four quantity okay so select goods receipt here and select here order mm -hmm. and enter the order number 162 and execute these steps are common whether you are doing goods issue against production order or purchase order gr any gr this transaction this process is same okay sure. yeah execute okay then you can see you got the order number mm -hmm. material this is car and quantity quantity out of 10 we produce yesterday four only you can enter that four yeah and then go to the where store location already it is there mm -hmm. and in the bottom click on item ok and then save it okay yeah save so it is saved and document is posted material document posted now if you check the mmb E? Correct. Now we are going to check MMBE. Same car and plant execute. Mm -hmm. Now you can see for quantity in story location triple zero one. Uh, can you uh, change the the this uh, comma it should be a 4.00 this okay. will confusion yeah yeah okay. i will change it. su3 yeah notation uh, i'm putting okay you need to log off and log in again actually I see. Perfect. Is it okay now? Yeah, yeah, now it's okay. 
so these are the four 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 cars right i mean yes, whatever correct. the four numbers correct four cars uh -huh. so so this is the manufacturing process from starting to ending in mts scenario yeah but why is showing four 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 three four times so the stock in storage location is four mm -hmm. this storage location is in plant triple zero one so four. at plant level is also four four and this this is a three thousand is a company code so company code I this see. is organizational structure yes 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 okay so, okay you need to check what is the stock in storage location level this is the minimum level right okay. can we look at the story uh, the tires too uh, tire warehouse how many tires in the world? yeah now if you enter the tire earlier it is reduced actually you can you know selection you can see 1850 now this sign up there is a for new selection this one sorry the, 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 the sign the sign up there if this is for new selection sign up no this is a refresh a refresh button here yeah and the second one is for a new uh, new selection new, select, new selection means you click this you can put the new item yeah you can change the item here like uh -huh. i want to see now uh, 166 you enter that and mm -hmm. click on the selection new selection so it will I show see. you the stock of that material i see so you don't need to go back and put the yeah, transaction code and so correct yeah i see correct Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't see the tire uh, change the number. It was 1,850 and stay at 1,850. No, it is. It is changed. I will show you the evidence. Yeah. Go to the MB51. Yeah. Or MB03. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tire. Material code plant I have executed and I am executing. You can see. Oh why 261 is not happening yeah it doesn't happen for the tire this is what they told you i know the warehouse it has 1800 okay. let me do once again maybe i not tick marked the okay button you know oh yeah, yeah i saw that you, know, you remember when we went to the Miko, you make it the flag for only one line not the second line yeah Correct, correct. Okay, that is the reason you can see here it is showing you. Yeah, on that time. Yeah, I to tell you, I didn't pay attention. I, I believe that you didn't put the flag two times. Yes, yeah, correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. correct. Yeah, yeah. You have put the item okay down. That's it. Yeah, you put yeah. it for online. Yeah. Correct. I think earlier I put only for 166 material. I did not put. Sorry, I forgot. Yeah, correct. Okay. correct. Yeah. Now I put tick mark and uh, store location 50 quantity yes. now i am yes. saving it yes. 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 now posted now if you see mmbe it will reduce Tire. Sure. Yeah, yeah 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 sorry okay yes. yeah now it is yes. 18 1800 it is reduced by 50 so it is now 1800 earlier it is 1850 okay your voice is not clear nicholas i'm sorry you don't mind if i drop the call now i have another yeah, yeah. charge now correct, yeah, correct. Sorry. so i will drop it so i hope you understood yeah. the process okay yeah, yeah perfect yes, yeah great thank you Wes. Okay. i appreciate your uh, effort man thank you sir okay so jamal okay, you I'm... need to speed up because yeah. we Have completed yeah thank yes. you thank you nicholas bye. Bye. thank you bye. Bye, bye. yeah okay. yeah okay. Uh, actually uh, uh, we have a uh,